Hello, Bacho. Let's see the question. The question says the energy releasing process in which the substrate is oxidized. That means the substrate that will be forming the product is oxidized without an external electron acceptor is called energy releasing process in which the substrate is oxidized itself without an external electron acceptor. It is true. The key concept. cellular respiration and when we talk about each and every options given to us suppose the first one aerobic respiration it takes place in the presence of oxygen and it requires external electrolyte and when we talk about the glycolytic pathway or you can say the second option now the glycolytic pathway moves further to get carried over Krebs cycle carry forward the Krebs cycle products in that case it leads to ETC that means electron transport chain it participates in the external electron acceptor reaction and when we talk about the third option which is fermentation in this case no etc take place and substrate level phosphorylation takes place due to which two atp as a product forms along with ethanol and CO2. When we talk about the fourth option, which is the fourth one, photorespiration. It is a wasteful process and takes place when there is high temperature, during which Rubisco, which is an enzyme, the most abundant. Now what happens, this Rebusco enzyme, they absorb the oxygen and give out CO2. Thus, this was photorespiration. So the final answer will be, as we can clearly see, that fermentation, fermentation is an energy releasing process in which the substrate is oxidized. This oxidized, the pyruvate is oxidized without an electron acceptor. Thus, it is fermentation. Hope you all understood all the best.